Okay, uh, let's continue our discussion. Uh, uh, at this point in this chapter, we're now going to int integrate everything that was discussed into a form of a formal or an actual protocol that uh, basically uh, makes use of the concepts that have been discussed in the previous videos. So today we're going to talk, or at this point, we're going to talk about uh, high-level data link control or HDLC, which is actually a protocol itself that can be implemented. So HDLC is a bit-oriented protocol for communication over point-to-point -point and uh, multiple or multi-point links. And it implements the ARQ mechanisms that have been discussed uh, in the previous videos. So before we start, uh, before we go into the details of the HDLC, uh, let's define some uh, terms. Uh, in the HDLC, we have uh, different types of transfer modes. Normally, in uh, in a communication link, we have uh, a primary and a secondary station. So, in HDLC transfer mode, we have uh, the normal response mode. Now, in this mode, you have uh, one station designated as the primary station, and you have another station which is called or designated as the secondary station. The primary station is the one responsible for uh, sending commands to the secondary station, and the secondary station responds to the primary station. Now, what is shown here is an example of a normal response mode in a point-to-point -point connection. Now, for uh, a multi-point connection, uh, the mechanism is the same, but instead of just having one secondary station, you can have multiple uh, secondary stations. But you have a single primary station, which issues the commands to the uh, secondary stations, as shown here. So, this is a uh, normal response mode, wherein one station is designated as primary station, and one or two or one or more uh, stations are designated as secondary stations. Then we also have another mode which is called asynchronous balance mode wherein uh, each station can both function as primary and secondary station. You can think of this as similar to peer-to-peer. -to -peer. So you have here one station and you have another station and they can function both as a primary station responsible for uh, issuing commands or uh, uh, secondary stations responsible for uh, responding to commands. So this is the asynchronous balance mode. So during the uh, establishment of uh, HDLC communication, the two communication com communicating parties should agree first on what transfer mode to use. Now let's go into the discussion of the different types of frames for HDLC. First we have the I-frames. Uh, these are information frames. Then we have uh, S-frames, which are supervisory frames. And we have U-frames, which are unnumbered frames. As shown here is the format of the frame for each type. The I-frame, uh, you have the flag, which indicates the start and end of the frame. You have the address field. Recall that a frame uh, should usually have uh, a send uh, a source address and the destination address. So this is in this uh, address field. Then you have the control field and the actual uh, information, which since this is an information frame, the data here will come from the network layer. And the frame check sequence or FCS, which is used for error checking. For the S frame, this is the format. So uh, you, you have still have the address field, the control field, and you have the frame check sequence only. And for the U frame or unnumbered frames, again, you have the address, the control, and management information codes. So common to, to these three frames are uh, the address, control, and F FCS. So all of these frames have uh, the address, control, and FCS uh, fields. Now, uh, a detailed discussion of the fields in the frame. So the flag, which marks the 
start and end of a frame is an 8 bit pattern so this is the bit pattern 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 uh, the address uh, field okay the green one here represents the uh, two field if you are sending from secondary uh, uh, if uh, two secondary from primary so the, the value of that is to the address of the secondary if you're sending from the primary or from secondary to primary so we'll have a detailed discussion of how this address field is used later now the address field can be one byte or several bytes uh, one byte can identify up to uh, 128 stations so uh, you might think that we have one byte so that will be eight bits but uh, the last bit of the last byte is always ends always ends with a one and it signals the last byte of the address field okay uh, the control field is a one or two byte segment used for flow and error control and it depends on the type of the frame so you have again common uh, address and control field then the information field is for the data and the frame check sequence uh, these are two or four byte ITU dash T uh, cyclic uh, redundancy code or CRC now let's go to the control field uh, this field as I said is common to all the frames but they have different uh, uh, meanings for each type for the iframe uh, the first bit if the first bit is zero that means that is a control field for the iframe and this is the uh, sequence number for the send send sequence number and you have the poll and final bit and you have the uh, receive sequence number here sequence number field if the control field starts with one zero then this is a control field for the s frame then the next two bit represents the code again s frame is supervisory frame and you have the poll and final bit and then you have the uh, receive sequence number then if you have a, a numbered frame uh, this is marked by a one one in the first two bits and then you have the code the first two bits of the code here and you have the next three bits of the code here and you also have the poll and final bit now for the control field of the iframes uh, the first bit is zero so this is the sequence number of the frame and this is the acknowledgement number when piggybacking is used so this is send and receive sequence number and polar final bit as i mentioned and uh, <coughs> the for the s frames the first two bits is one zero and the control codes uh you have the control codes here these two bits here these are the meaning of uh, the control code so if the control code is zero zero it is receive ready meaning it's uh it can send frames receive not ready one zero meaning the the receiver is busy so these are the codes that are usually sent uh, by the receiver then we have reject zero one which is a negative acknowledgement used in uh, go back n and you have selective reject or s reg uh, one one which is a negative acknowledgement used in selective reject or selective uh, repeat for the uh, for the unnumbered frames okay so going back this is the unnumbered frame so it uh, the code has uh, five bits uh, for for its use so you have the first two here and you have the last three here so these are the meaning of the of the codes for the control field of the u-frames okay uh, we're going to see this in action later in the example you, when we look at an actual uh, connection establishment and data transfer using HDLC. Okay, so let's start with uh, understanding how HDLC operates. So uh, let's focus on the connection and disconnection. So we have two communicating parties or two nodes. You have node A and we have node B. Now, uh, the communication happens in three stages. You have the connection establishment stage you have the data transfer stage and you have the 
uh, connection uh, release or termination stage. Now, during the connection establishment, node A will send a U frame. So, U frame is an unnumbered frame, and this will be the contents of the frame from node A. So, you have the flag to mark the start and end of the flame, frame. Then you have B. This is the address field, remember? So, if you look back at the field, so this is the green part, so you, where you, we're sending U frame, so this is the address field. Uh, in this illustration, the address field is B, meaning it is sending the frame distinct for B. Then you have the control field. Okay? Now this is an unnumbered frame, so you have one one. This is a U frame, and then this is the uh, control code one 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 zero zero. So if you look back here, one 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 zero zero. So it says here S A B M. SABM would mean set asynchronous balance mode. When you say set asynchronous balance mode, meaning the transfer mode that will be used during the uh, data transfer will be asynchronous balance mode. So node A is telling uh, control B, okay, let's talk and we're going to use asynchronous balance mode, meaning both of us can be a primary station or a secondary station and a secondary station. Then you have the manage, uh, management data, etc. Now, once node B receives that frame, it will send an another U frame. Okay? So, how, uh, this time, since this frame is going to A, the address field will contain A, and the control field, again, 1, 1 for a U frame, uh, the control field will have the value 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, if we look back at uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, this is an unnumbered acknowledgement or UA. So what we're saying here is that if ever or node be agreed, okay, I agreed to your request that we communicate and we use asynchronous balance mode. So this is a confirmation that I am agreeing to your request. So this will be received by node A. Now, once this is received by uh, node A, then there will be an exchange of information frames. Okay? Uh, the way we discussed uh, go back and or selective uh, repeat, uh, this is what's going to happen in this data transfer stage. Now, after the data transfer stage, uh, node A will now send a U frame to node B. So, U frame. Again, the destination is node B, and then this is uh, U frame control. The control field will have one one, and uh, the value for the control will be zero 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 one zero. So if we look back, zero 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 one zero. So this is a command, which means that node A is initiating a disconnection request to node B. Okay, so once node B received receives this frame, it will send an, a numbered acknowledgement confirming that, okay, it's, uh, let's terminate now our connection. Okay, so that's how the connection and disconnection operation uh, in HDLC happens. So the connection is uh, done by sending uh, U frames and the disconnection also is done by sending U frames of the appropriate uh, code. Okay, now let's look at uh, this slide, uh, piggybacking without error. Now, in piggybacking without error, uh, so again, when I say piggybacking, we, we place in the information frame or the data frame the acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement. So this one is piggybacking without error. So uh, basically, uh, what we're what we're doing here is let's we're just zooming in in the data transfer. Okay. So we've illustrated in this slide the connection and the connection establishment and termination. Here we're we're looking into the actual data transfer. So as you can see here, you have iframe, and uh, you have the flags for the start and end of the frame. And the destination is towards uh, node B. 
and uh, this is an iframe so an iframe will have a zero in the first bit in the control field and uh, what will these orange values be if we look back on the control field this will be the send sequence number and uh, receive sequence number okay so this brown area here so if you look back at this so uh, since this is the initial exchange of information so they're going to use frame number zero so uh, this is the send the first one the first one is send so it's sending it is sending frame zero and uh, expecting to receive frame zero from node b okay then uh, depending uh, if depending on the arq being used for example so at this point uh, let's say uh, uh, it's using go back and or selective reject uh, node a even though it has even though node b hasn't acknowledged the receipt of uh, frame zero node uh, a can send frame one okay so almost the same frame as the previous one but the send uh, the send uh, sequence number here or the, the, the send frame number is one meaning this is frame one going to uh, b then uh, when uh, node b receives this uh, uh, receive this receives these two frames it will send to node a an iframe okay so this iframe will have the address field with the value a because this is distinct for node a and the control field since this is an iframe will have zero as the first bit and then this will be the send uh, frame number or send sequence number so this means that this is frame zero from node b and this is an acknowledgement number meaning since the value here is two node b is acknowledging that uh, it has successfully received frames one and zero and it is now expecting frame number two from node a and again node b sends another sends another frame frame one as shown here and it hasn't received the acknowledgement for uh, frame two or it hasn't ex, uh, ex, uh, uh, received the frame uh, frame two from node a so still the value of uh, frame uh, frame two is placed here okay and then uh, frame three uh, I, this is frame two uh, is also sent from a uh, node b so this is frame two and is still expecting frame uh, two from node a because at this point in time node a hasn't sent the uh, frame number two yet then at this point in time node a sends an s frame s frame is a uh, supervisory frame so it is distinct for node b this is uh, the marker for the control field one zero and you have the rr so the rr value receive ready and then uh, it is acknowledging uh, frame number three so it is ready to receive frame number three okay so notice the idea of piggybacking uh, you send the data frame and you place the uh, acknowledgement uh in one frame by indicating in this field the frame that it expects to receive okay and piggybacking with error so uh, this one illustrates uh piggybacking with error so again uh node a's uh, uh node b sends an iframe to node a so uh, you have the control field so this is the send sequence number and the receive sequence number then a uh, node b sends uh, 
another frame, frame number one, but this frame failed to arrive at the node A, at node A. And then uh, node B again sends another frame, node, uh, node uh, uh, frame number two here. Okay, so frame number two. And then uh, at this point, since uh, node A did not receive uh, frame number one, this frame number two will be dis discarded, okay? And uh, node A will send a reject, a negative acknowledgement. So reject is for uh, go back N. So reject uh, one reject frame one because i did not receive that and then uh node b will send uh, frame number one and frame number two and then frame three will acknowledge the receipt of these uh two frames okay so as you can see here this is a go back and arq because uh, node a bo uh, resent both frame one and frame two okay these two frames here okay so that describes the operation of uh, uh hdlc